Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing my fall series. I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite fun fall recipes. So these are things you can either use, you know, just for yourself or your family, but if you're having a get together or a party, you can make larger portions of these and uh, they're just cozy recipes that I enjoy during the fall months. So let's jump right in first with the warm fall beverages. I am a bit of a sucker for pumpkin spice in the fall months, so I do like to switch up my coffee from regular in the morning to pumpkin spice. I got this ground coffee from Trader Joe's. They also have a really nice herbal tea blend that's caffeine free, so if you don't prefer coffee, I do drink a cup every morning, so I actually like to make my own latte. And their blend is actually really easy to make. You can make it at home if you don't want to get their coffee ground blend. It's basically just coffee grounds. I like to use organic coffee, pumpkin pie spice, some nutmeg, clove, and you can also add vanilla. You can add orange spice or orange rinds, and then you can put that into a French press. So on an everyday basis, I'm usually adding a little bit of almond milk, some stevia, and then I blend it up in a blender to get it nice and frothy, and it's pretty quick. But if you wanna kick it up another notch, you can add some canned pumpkin with a milk of your choice. I'm using almond milk, and then I'm adding the stevia, a little bit of cinnamon and vanilla. I'm gonna give it a good mix and let that heat up, and then I'm gonna add that to my coffee, and I'm also gonna blend it, and that makes it a really yummy, smooth, frothy, pumpkin spice latte. So may not be for every day, but something to try out on a morning when you have a little bit of time. I think it's fun every once in a while to do a more decadent special breakfast. Trader Joe's makes this really easy. They have pumpkin pancakes in a box, waffles, gluten-free options, so they have tons of goodies. But I also really like to make a pumpkin spice French toast, which is pretty easy to make. Also, when my niece and nephew come over and spend the night, we like to do waffles or pancakes or French toast or something extra fun for the kids. So as with French toast, it's eggs and milk. I'm using almond milk here, and then you can add pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon, vanilla, and then also canned pumpkin. I like to get the fluffy bread so that it's really soft French toast. And then I put that in the mixture, make sure to soak it on both sides. I'm gonna use Earth Balance here and I'm gonna add some cinnamon and sugar and just whip that up to create kind of like a fluffy topping for the French toast. And then I'm gonna put maple syrup on top of that and it's very good. These are devoured very quickly. So, um, but it's a fun, cozy, special breakfast to do in the fall months. I really love squash soup. So I'm gonna make a pumpkin squash carrot soup that's really easy to throw together. I'm gonna to start with some garlic and some olive oil and some onions. I'm just gonna cook those very lightly till they're just ever so slightly golden brown. I don't wanna get them dark or deep colored because then I won't get that really beautiful color that I love to get. So I chopped up a pumpkin pie pumpkin, some carrots and squash. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and cook that very lightly. I'm gonna add some spices, some salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna add some veggie stock and basically just let that cook until everything's really softened. At the end here, I like to put in some chopped apple. That gives it a really nice flavor. And I put that in in the end so that the apples don't get cooked too much and it still has a certain type of flavor that I prefer. And I'm gonna let that cook for another minute or so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and ladle all of that into my blender. I've had this blender for 11 years. I got it for my wedding. I love it. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead, this is gonna blend that up, and then that's pretty much it. So it's really easy, you can add, I'm adding some earth balance or you can add butter to give it 
a little bit more of a creamy texture. And then I like to add sage on top. It's optional to add sour cream or creme fraiche or something on top of the soup, but this is perfect for a colder day or if you're looking for a cozy lunch or dinner. Next, I'm making a fancy fall adult beverage, which I don't think I've ever made an adult beverage on my channel before, but I had this at a family reunion in Michigan last fall. My cousin actually made it for me, and it's so yummy. So I'm taking a champagne glass, I'm putting the rim, I'm dipping the rim in caramel, and then I'm dipping it in cinnamon sugar. Then it's equal parts sparkling apple cider and champagne. Now, of course, if you don't drink alcohol or you want to make this a kid-friendly beverage, you could just do sparkling apple cider. But this is really fun for a party, and you could do it in a different type of cup as well. Um, but fun for like a harvest party or a fall night with friends or a special night, a special occasion. I thought it was really fun, and I enjoyed it when it was made for me, and everyone I've ever made it for has really enjoyed it and loved it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Well, that completes this video. I so appreciate you guys watching and keep your eyes peeled for more fall videos coming soon. Thanks so much for checking out my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.